All right, guys, today we've got a pretty rad video for you planned. We're gonna be reliving the 90s in two first-generation Toyota RAV4s. One is highly modified, and the other is pretty much stock. So I'm here with the owner, Aaron. He's gonna walk me through both of his vehicles. Uh, these are both yours. You bought this stock one first, and then you bought the modified one second, right? Yep. Yeah. Moving up. Moving up into the world. Wow, so what drew you to the first-gen RAV4 and what is this monster? You've showed me some videos of it doing crazy snow donuts and launches, and it's got a crazy exhaust on it. Yeah, you'll see the stock one doesn't do that at all. Uh, <laughs> I had a, a 90s XJ. Uh, it was like a two-door four-wheel drive with a stick, and I drove it around Detroit, and it was incredibly uncomfortable. And so I was like, is there like a Japanese version of this that just like works better and stuff? <laughs> so I wound up with this, which on paper is sort of ticks all the same boxes. Uh, everyone in my garage is like, oh no, you downgraded, but I, I don't know, I just love weird 90s things. This is awesome. I, I love the three-spoke wheels. You've got a proper set of all-terrain tires on here. I mean, just looking at the interior, I feel like this would be a, a hit at Radwood or something. You yeah. Know? And you've yeah. kind of got the shirt to match. So <laughs> <laughs> I love it, man. This is awesome. I think let's go drive the stock RAV4 first, and then we'll drive your modified one. What does this have in it? This is a 3S GTE 5th uh, gen from a JDM Caldina. Um, wow. So it's like 260 horsepower. Jeez. Uh, yeah, a lot of people are doing, a lot of people stick them in MR2s, but there's like a RAV4 swap community now. Okay, and then it's got like a drivetrain swap from a Celica? From a GT4 ST185 from like 89, 90. Sweet. Oh man. All right, well I can't wait to drive that. Let's start stock first and then uh, we'll go from there. Cool. It's so cool getting into 90s stuff after driving all these new cars. Always, Visibility is just insane. That's the first thing I always noticed. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I love how short and squat these things are. The overhangs are super tiny. These probably do really well off road. Yeah. Yeah. Is it just, uh, is there a transfer case or anything? You got a locking center diff? Center diff is 50 50. Otherwise, it's full time, four wheel drive. Okay. But this one, uh, open front and rear diffs. So that's the okay. limiting factor. Yeah. I mean, you know, you just send it. No, probably no A track at this at this point. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, tr no low range. No. Wow. All right. <laughs> I never thought I would drive one of these. I love it. Yeah, if you miss these in like high school, you probably aren't gonna find another one. Sure, yeah. This is super clean. I mean, they've all probably rusted out. This one is a survivor. You really feel that short wheelbase. Yeah, so it looks like a short wheelbase, but it's actually shorter than you think it is. Um, I, I was just checking, it's, I think, three inches shorter than an NA Miata. Okay, wow. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. If you have a two-car garage, you could have a bunch of these and have, like, a five-car garage. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. That's that's great. I can fit both in my garage spot. Okay, right cool. If I need to. <laughs> Super easy to drive. Ride, ride's pretty nice. It's not fast. So this is a 120 horsepower stuff. Okay. What does it weigh? About 2,500 pounds? Uh, this one's about 2,700. 27, okay. So a little bit less than like a new Corolla. It's a fun manual. Yep. Only 87,000 miles. Uh -huh. No. <laughs> uh, I, Only... bought it, I bought it, advertised it, it's 80,000 miles. Yeah, it's about 240,000 miles. Okay, all right. Well, that's fine. It feels like it has 80,000 miles. It feels great. Yeah. It's nice and tight. 90s Toyota. It's a nice Toyota. What can go wrong except for rust? <laughs> cool. That's fun. All right. And the only reason we're not taking this out on an extended highway drive is, one, we want to drive the fast one. But also, you said it pops out of fifth on the highway. Pops out of fifth on the highway. Okay. Which is. Do you uh, just hold it in there, or does it just. It's just. It, 
that's how I got here, but you know, I, I was looking for a, a parts car to just swap the transmission over, and uh, because the transmissions are so expensive, and I found that, so cool. the transmission problem actually leads us into that car. All right, beautiful. <laughs> this is so fun to drive, <laughs> I love it. I mean, very tame, very approachable. Love it. Everything was square and boxy, and it's amazing how well Toyota plastics stand the test of time. Yeah. I mean, yeah, cool. I just drove a Land Cruiser a couple days ago with like almost 300,000 miles on it, and it just didn't care. That's you can awesome. get a, a sunroof. That's a true sunroof. This has the, the double ones. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's Those awesome. Fun to take off. Cool. Back seats, decent amount of space. More space than the Jeep that I had, actually. Yeah. Yeah, just a little four-seater. <laughs> so cool, man. <laughs> I love it. All right. right. Definitely the right key this time. Let's do a little bit more of a walk around. We got to pop the hood. Yes. Uh, look at some. Look at some stuff. What are the, what size tires are these here? Really weird size. Uh, they're 235, 75, 16s. Okay. So are these like 31s almost? They look enormous. They're probably they're not that 30. big. About 30 inches? Yeah. Okay. That's that's solid. That's great. Little tow hitch. Hear the BRZ in the background. <laughs> cool. So Weird thing about these, they have a sort of combined uh, headers, turbo, manifold thing happening down here. So you can't, you have to like separate them to make any more power. Okay. Uh, which is a limiting factor for the fourth and fifth gens. The rest of them are separate. Uh, All right. Have you had this rust proofed? I do. Yeah. Cr uh, crown. Nice. Yeah, I can. I can tell. There's just like a nice grunge to everything. <laughs> right. uh, better grungy than rusty. Exactly. That's awesome. All right. So you said about, what, 240 horsepower? Uh, I think it's 256. 256. Okay. Wow. Should be fun. All right. <laughs> I love this interior. These seats are just the coolest. Yeah. Next best thing out there. Bus seat fabric. Yeah. So, uh, so yeah, drivetrain, uh, transaxle, and diffs are from a ST185 Celica GT4. Okay. So, the downside is they're from like the late 80s, and second synchro is on its way out. So, we'll you baby just gotta it. Be a little, little careful in the second thruster, man. We'll be ginger. Wow. Boost gauges, Air, AFR. Nice. Get our get acquainted here. You recommend double clutching? It, it doesn't seem to help actually, but we okay. go for it if you want. Yeah. <laughs> True 185,000 miles on it, but probably the body, different yeah. on the drivetrain, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Brakes are stock. Um, Suspension's a old man emu, two and a half inch lift, um, and then there's more grand clearance with the wheels and tires. Yep. The um, the wheels are TE37, so yeah, 
They're gorgeous. The 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 weight actually unsprung goes back to like basically stock. Okay. The setup. It came with some giant mud tires on like rusty steel wheels, and those weighed like 70 pounds each. Yeah. So when I went to these, I dropped 30 pounds per corner. Oh my gosh. So noticeable. Yeah, I bet that's a huge difference. Yeah. That's awesome. I've seen the, like this well over a hood ever in a right. car. <laughs> I will say that you'll run out of grip before it flips. Sure, yeah. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> it's got a nice wide stance. Yeah. This is like one of those cars that you would build in Forza Horizon. You know, just take anywhere. <laughs> It's like a normal amount of fast, but for one of these, it's probably pretty fast. It's, yeah, it's yeah. twice as much power. So, yep. Yeah. What's red line? Like, oh, it's about seven. Seven, okay. Yeah. It seems to fall off a little bit more in higher revs. Yeah. It's torquey. Easy to drive. for Michigan. Yeah. You could use a little more compliance in the suspension, but for that I think I have to go to like, have you seen Papadakis Racing's ref board? Yes, I have. I think yeah. it's awesome. Just need like full custom Baja suspension. Yeah. Push around a corner here a little bit. is also kind of convertible so we gotta put the top down sounds good yeah let's uh pull off we'll find a little spot here i did it just gotta ease it in gently <laughs> you do like a little pull up and down here just from yeah for sure I'll, I'll stand outside and you guys can hear the exhaust that'd be pretty neat I, uh, I went back and I had them put a resonator on and uh, it's it's great for like livability but yeah uh, this, this sounds good it was it was just so phenomenal before that <laughs> I, might, I might go back and we'll see <laughs> that's always the balance isn't it it's, yeah you know, insanity for those few moments when you really appreciate a good sounding exhaust versus, okay, 99% of the time, yeah. the rest of the time. <laughs> back. Yeah, yeah, give it a few revs at idle, you know. Drum rear brakes.
sounds good. <laughs> it does, especially from the front. You get all the turbo blow off valve noise. Yeah. It, something about the resonator, I think, sort of modernizes it. It makes it feel a little more like a modern four cylinder, which takes yeah. a little character out. That's okay. Without it, it was like much more happy sounding. <laughs> Still got a nice, like, turbocharged burbly noise to it. Yes. I bet this is so much fun off-road. Yeah, I've been meaning to take it to the, the dunes and see how it does. Yeah, this would, this would dominate the dunes. The thing about sand, too, is this is so light, it would just float over everything, too. Right. Yeah, yeah Jeeps, Jeeps don't have speed. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> foam here. I feel like I'm watching a car get undressed. I should avert my eyes, turn away or something. <laughs> That's easy. So in the summer, you just rock this with like the windows off. Yeah. Top down most of the time. I don't know. Maybe leave it on just for wind noise. Okay, I'll just show you. Because this way we'll be able to hear the exhaust. Oh, sunroof. Okay. So, so this pops out, and then you have a, a mount for it on the trunk. Okay. Inside, so. Yeah, but why not? Sweet. And these just. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't blame you. <laughs> All right, this should be a little bit more entertaining, sound better. Hopefully, you guys are wearing headphones. We've got the binaural audio hooked up today. Oh, yeah. This reminds me a little bit of a Fiat 500 Abarth kind of sounds similar you're you're short you're tall you got this like same shifter location everything's just kind of like underneath you they're like angry chihuahua vehicles yeah it's yeah. just a, like a little chihuahua that wants to hump your leg and that exactly. yeah it's great experience. Yeah. You crank down windows. I haven't done that in like 20 years. Yep. <laughs> Thought about swapping the, the doors and all the electric, electric windows over from the other one, but mm -hmm. I lose the character. So no, I think, I think I'm gonna keep them. Yeah, crank down windows are it's a lost thing and yeah. saves weight. I would keep it. You got the same cruise control stock used here by Toyota for ages. I love that. Does cruise control work? No. Okay. Uh, one day. That's all right. Yeah. Eh, not a priority. I don't think it'll ever be a great road trip car, but I, I think I'll get it somewhat, somewhat decent eventually. Yeah. Right now it's still a noise canceling situation. Yeah, sure. What I love about it is Non non car people have no idea what it is. They, they still love it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, you used to see a bunch of these on the road, and I, I don't really look for them. But now I'm going to start looking for them. 
And if you look for this specifically, you won't. I'm sure, like yeah. in California and like out of the Rust Belt, yeah. there's a bunch. Like I just, I just spent some time in LA, and I probably saw quite a few of these out there. You just get the most obscure stuff that's still surviving, running. One owner, old Toyotas, and yeah. you know, random stuff that you just don't see here in the Midwest. And people started bringing, started bringing the Japanese right the drive ones over. Yeah, so that's right. On the West Coast, there's a lot of those now. You see, yeah, you see these on Bring a Trailer. You see them on uh, Cars and Vids. <laughs> We might be too small for the like the camera to sense us at the traffic light. <laughs> much personality and character in one tiny little package. Stock brakes feel fine. They're, they're new. They're new, yeah. Drum rears. Yes. put a lot of thought and just like clever engineering into their vehicles in this era. People say like you can't do 90s like visibility anymore but you also can't do like 90s packaging. Sure. Which yeah. is just, and, and this is so crazy especially compared to like the Jeep I had. It's just so much more usable and <laughs> so much smaller. You get into this and it, you get inside it's like that Honda Fit trick where inside it feels bigger than it does outside. The suspension is definitely a little firmer, but it's not bad. It was, it was just right with the 70 pound wheel tire setup, but the going down in weight definitely screwed, screwed the ride up. Yeah, so that's okay. I'll have to get that on Yeah, it's funny how that affects ride quality. Yeah. You think it would help, but it, it there's not as much weight to like push up on the shock and the spring. and. I assume this is a complete custom exhaust from like cat back or? Yep. Okay. Yeah, so it's got the 3SGT cat and then that's all the way in the front, so then everything underneath is sweet. MRT's done. Yeah, MRT's did a good job. It sounds great. Yeah. Cool, man. Well, hey, really appreciate you getting in touch. We were trying to do a bit of like a winter snow drive in this, but it just didn't snow enough this it, year. It really didn't snow a lot. And I, I was gone most of February anyway, so. Well, 
Blackwing in the snow is funnier than this. <laughs> That's right. That was that was sketchy. That was like one of the sketchiest <laughs> snow drives I think I've ever had. <laughs> uh, all right, you gotta show me the bed in the back. Oh yes, yes, yes. I like your uh, like adorable steering wheel squeak. <laughs> Want me to leave it running for a little bit? Cool turbo things. So, headrest off. Alright. Push it up. Oh, wow. Yeah. Ta -da. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> yeah. So, I'm 6'2. Okay. 6'2. No 6'2. Look at that, with like an inch or, inch or two to spare. Have you slept back here? Uh, at a rest stop, yeah. At a rest stop, yeah. yeah. All right, that's great. That's awesome. It's even kind of got your like integrated lumbar. All you need is a pillow, and you're, that's ergonomically perfect. Yeah. It's like that episode of The Simpsons where Homer found that trash can and <laughs> was like practicing chiropractor work on everyone. It's like exactly. the perfect form. I know. Yeah. Could do every night. That's awesome. <laughs> Uh, cool. There's your key. Very cool. All right, guys. Well, hopefully you enjoyed that. That was a pretty cool experience. Thank you for sharing, Aaron. <laughs> Where'd you get the, or is that, pre, what have you done to this compared to previous owner? Wheels and tires, Any anything else? Um, just, just fixing stuff besides that. Okay, all right. Yeah, <laughs> random things. <laughs> yeah, it's good to have an old modified car like this to keep yourself from getting bored and, you know, keep you entertained. Yeah. Light bar? Oh, yeah, you want to see? Yeah. Uh, look directly at <laughs> Avert your eyes. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's bright. All right, guys. Well, there you go. Two first-gen RAV4s, very different in execution and driving feel and character, but uh, both a lot of fun. Again, man, thanks for coming out. Appreciate you sharing your cars. Yeah, definitely. And uh, yeah, enjoy. We'll have to do some more fun stuff. And if you ever go to the dunes, let me know. Yeah, <laughs> if it does snow. If it does snow, yeah. We usually get one more snow and like, april or may but at this point it's gonna be like 70 degrees tomorrow yeah. i'm kind of i'm thinking winter's probably over yeah <laughs> exactly all right guys that's it for this one thanks so much for watching we'll see you in the next video take care so these have the same um mounting points uh in rav so to to get the 3s gte and you don't have to change that at all. Wow. Legos. Toyota Legos. Yep. You gotta love it. <laughs>